So in Dragon's Dogma 2, there are a bunch of different vocations available. And in this video, we're going to be going through how to unlock the Magic Archer. Now, this one is going to require quite a lot of playtime. You can do this a lot earlier in the game, but I don't recommend it because the enemies in these areas are going to be really, really high level. So you're just going to be possibly wasting time because you're dying all the time and things like that. So basically, the actual way to get this without skipping things and doing it early is if you make it to Vernworth, you're going to make it there within a couple of hours of gameplay time you are going to start doing quests for a guy called brant you have to meet him in the tavern at night time and after you've done a certain amount of quests you are going to get a permit to enter batal and then from there you want to make it all the way over to the far left hand side of the map until you get to the checkpoint rest town when you are here if you are a bistron that's fine you can carry on you can cross the border and you can enter batal if you are not a Beastron, you need to look around this town for a vendor that's walking around with a backpack, and they are going to sell you a Beastron mask. Once you equip that, you'll be able to cross the border into Batal. Then once you have crossed the border, you are going to come into Batal. You're going to follow it all the way down. You can go to Back Batal, that is the main capital in this region. But what you want to do is head all the way down here. You are going to come to Drabnir's Grotto. And once you've made it through there, there's going to be lots and lots of enemies. You are going to come out the other side. And then you're going to come up to this hill. And you're going to see a guy about here that's like complaining of a bad back. Make sure when you come here, you have three different herbs on you. They can be any form of herb, but make sure you have three because he's going to need those in order to start the like little quest to go and get the magic archer. So once you've spoken to this guy, he's going to ask you to lead him home. Like you've given him the herbs and everything. He's going to ask you to take him home and you're going to either just let him walk. He's going to take forever or you can pick him up and just move with him. Be careful. There's going to be enemies and stuff on your way. But basically, when you have this guy with you and you've like started the quest you've given him the herbs all you want to do is come over to the right past the campsite then on this little path here you're going to come up follow it all the way around and then the wind walkers home is this guy's home then once you arrive what you're going to do is his wife's going to come out ask where he's been blah 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 so on and so forth he's going to say that he's going in to get your reward he doesn't actually come back out so what you need to do is enter the guy's home and when you are in there you can talk to his wife there is a new liquor in there that like basically there's a couple of things in there and what you're going to have to do is talk to him again and say that you can accompany him on his travels to the hot springs and now you're going to have to set up for a really really long journey there's lots and lots of combat so prepare yourself but this guy is going to move quite fast and like he's not too fast you can still pick him up and be a lot quicker with him but basically what you want to do is from the windwalker's home you're going to come back on the path that you entered the home with back onto the main path and you're going to come all the way along to the right hand side and when you make it to the volcanic island camp what you are going to do is enter the camp and you're going to make your way around here there's loads of scaffolding and stuff i'll show you on screen you are going to follow all of the scaffolding and you're trying to get as far south as you possibly can. So climb up the scaffolding, get to the top. This guy will climb ladders, so you can carry him to the ladders, put him down. He's going to climb up the ladder. When he gets to the top, you can pick him up again. And then what you want to do is come down this long path here and the hot springs are around this area. You basically just want to follow the pathway here and all you do is make it to the entrance of the hot springs, which I believe is this bit here. I'm not entirely sure where it is on the map. But all you want to do is make it to the entrance of the hot springs. Someone's going to tell you that you're not allowed to go in there. So you drop the guy and he's going to go off and walk into the hot springs. And then what's going to happen is you're going to turn around. His wife's going to show up out of nowhere and say that she has been following you to make sure you're not doing anything dodgy to her husband. And because you have like basically helped her and her husband out, she is going to be happy to unlock the magic archer vocation with you. She is also going to give you an item called Spellbow's Paradox. It's a tome that details an exceptional ability. You can basically use it to learn Martyr's Bolt. So all you do once you've unlocked the Magic Archer is go to a Vocation Guild. You're going to be able to use Discipline to unlock it. And then you're going to equip it and use the Vocation for yourself. And that is exactly how you unlock Magic Archer in Dragon's Dogma 2. What we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.